Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for your love and support. I truly do appreciate it. Welcome to those of you guys that are new. This is the daily telepathy for those of you guys that identify with a twin flame connection. Uh, please be sure to hit the like button and thank you guys for those of you that already do that in advance. I really appreciate it. Subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to get my uh, latest videos. So as I'm shuffling the cards, I want to just get you guys all up to speed on a couple of things that I'll be doing. Um, so on all of my social media accounts, all that information is going to be listed below, by the way. Okay. Um, I will be having different content on all of it. So th there will be some intuitive, uh, inspirational guided messages, uh, channeled song messages, uh, twin flame messages, uh, love messages. I don't know why this don't want to emerge. <laughs> uh, the current situation or like what you need to know, divine masculine, divine feminine messages, uh, the good stuff. And I'm also going to have like a weekly discount um, or a special going on. And if you are a Patreon member, that discount will be um, even uh, greater. Okay. So that is some of it. Also, um, I will be... Um, I mentioned before that all the videos you'll be seeing of me will be live readings, except for when I do extend it's like this one, most likely, because it's just easier for me to do it this way. Um, you can get the access to the extended of a one time, or you can join my membership on Patreon. All right, that information is going to be um, below. So I will do at least one extended per week. And if I am able to do more than I will, but right now I can only commit to just doing two, uh, one. And when I do the live readings, um, I will be offering at the end of that live reading on maybe most of them, just depending on my timeline, uh, yes or no questions uh, for a $5 donation to my cash app. Or if you prefer PayPal, it will be $7 to that. And also I'll offer mini readings for $11. You'll get like three tarot cards, three oracle cards cards, three messages, and a clarifier, um, or $14 to my PayPal. Okay, so I'll tell you guys more about that. Also, um, new, uh, probably either to today or tomorrow, I'll be listing my um, incense collection. Uh, the Wusa incense will be coming like this. It'll be 15 in a pack, and I'll have all the different scents and stuff. So look, look for that. I'll get more into that, but I wanted to make sure since I haven't been on as much and that is because I've been trying to get um you know a certain schedule together where I can give you guys more content make it more fun for me as well as you because <laughs> you know I gotta be inspired to do this stuff um but all of that okay because I plan on uh, working on um the the tarot classes that I'm going to be providing um pretty soon okay I'll be offering uh courses for that so in order for me to be able to do all these different things, I have to get all organized. And so that's what I've been doing. OK, so again, um, all of my social media accounts will be listed below. It's the Linktree link. I have Facebook, Pinterest, TikTok, um, you know, here, YouTube, um, Instagram. OK, so. All right. So I know it's a longer than normal announcement, but, you know, I'm just going to start doing what I need to do when I need to do it. <laughs> Uh, so this first part of the reading for the Twin Flame reading is we're going to do past, present, and future. Um, so we'll just go from that, and then I will start the time as I'm done with this uh, announcement, which I'm pretty much done just letting you guys know what's going to be in the extended. It's going to be, um, have they recently thought about you and what were their, um, their thoughts about, okay? And have they realized their emotions uh, in this situation with you? And if so, what do they plan on doing about it? And I'll give you a timing for that as well. Okay. So all the oracles items you see here, uh, mines will be listed in my shop. You can only get those from my uh, links in my bio. Okay. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, this is called the mermaid tarot and this is called the numerology and that will be listed below too So if you guys want that I'll have that link information there um, as well So I do think I cover pretty much everything. I just want to make sure I did and I'm looking at my notes here 
yeah, so it's really exciting. I, I'm going to see, you know, how I can manage this. I might have to tweak it, you know, differently here and there. But other than that, there'll be different content and any of like my products and stuff. That'll probably be across the board like I always uh, do. But as far as the content goes, um, there'll be different content on all of those. OK, all right. So the main energy for this reading right now um, for your Twin Flame Connection is we have a timeout. 37, that could be significant, could be somebody's age, could be in their phone number. Um, even that number 10 could be significant. So you guys are on some type of a break, okay? Or someone wants a, a break. With this purple coming through, this is an intuition here that either you knew to take this break or you know something about this timeout energy. OK, so that's the main energy coming through uh, for this reading. So let's just go ahead and see the past, present, future. I've already shuffled the cards, so I'm going to just keep going. This is my intuitive envisions twin flame messages. So I'm just going to uh, put the cards down here. And this is my more situations. OK. That way we can clarify further as we need to. Where am I at? Okay. I'm just looking at the timer and it's hot and I got this stuff on. <laughs> All right, you guys. So let's go ahead and see what took place in the past. A legal situation. Okay. That could have been somebody had a legal obligation. You guys could have been in a commitment uh, a legal situation could have been affecting you guys in the past, but let's go more into this. So we have test two, early stages of making an offer. So in the past, somebody was testing out either somebody's legal situation to see if they were in it, but they were open to making some type of offer and you guys were in the early stages of making an offer or this person was in the early stages, but maybe the legal situation um, affected it because you guys are on some type of a timeout. Okay. Or somebody decided to take a timeout and we have the wheel of fortune. So since this is past energy and wheel of fortune does talk about past. So I do feel like for some of you guys, this is what happened in the past with the wheel of fortune. It can talk about money, but I feel this is about some type of change. Um, something that was fated to happen. So maybe you guys were fated uh, to meet up and then a change happened. The will changed the situation. Like you, maybe you tried to make them an offer. They tried to make an offer towards you. They weren't committed to it with this legal situation. And so it, it created some type of change. Okay. So let's go ahead and see what is this, um, legal situation, um, about, let me move these over here. Let's clarify this a little bit further in the past. This is called the Island Time Wellness Love Oracle Cards. What was this legal situation? Okay, I guess that's it. Heart with the key. Welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together. Perfect. In the past, I feel like you were, uh, or either you were or they were both committed I mean, you both were maybe committed to meet up with each other, possibly open your heart to the situation, testing out to see if this person was committed or have they had changed, okay? Um, some type of offer was on the table, okay? And so this also could have been their heart was tied to some type of legal situation um, as well, okay? Um, but let's just see if it'll tell me anything. What was the result of this? Let me um, turn this light up just one more notch. I don't know why it keeps on reflecting the light. Okay. What was the result of what took place in the past? Oh. Future. They see this relationship for the long term. Okay. Okay. So in the past, they were seeing the situation for the long term, okay? Testing out the situation, maybe change, 
changing up on you, but I'm going to see what was they seeing for the long term. Okay. So in the past, whatever was happening, either the timeout, the break, something they were seeing for the long term. So let's get one more. What were they seeing for the long term in regards to you? Queen of Wands. Okay, Queen of Wands is a very attractive energy. This is passionate. Um, this is taking action. This is creativity. So in the past, I feel like some of you guys met up with this person. They're very attracted to you. Uh, this is Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, or they just was like in this energy, you know, feeling very drawn to you. And they saw this for the long term of being attracted to you or maybe you know, taking some type of action. Some of them could have been inspired by, you know, passion and sexual type of energy, but that's not going to be for everybody. Um, but I said they saw this as uh, this relationship for the long term. Um, hold on. I'm trying to get my uh, thoughts back because some of it started to leave me. So they saw this for the, the relationship for the long term. Okay. So some of you guys, what I'm getting here is, testing you they saw this as a long term like they would constantly possibly test you in this situation test the waters you know test out maybe even your dedication and if they did do this if you were in this queen of wands energy you you basically like decided that you were done with those type of games okay and that's probably what resulted in some type of timeout, some type of break here with you guys, okay? So that's what took place in the past. Let's go ahead and see what's taking place in the present. In the present we have here, I love everything about you. Lost love, wanting to reconnect after a long period. And 10 of Pentacles. Hmm. So in the present, either this masculine or you are wanting to reconnect after a long period, either a long period dealing with a family situation, or somebody could be wanting to come back and offer you some type of commitment, some type of stability. Okay, so this is about you. It's like, I love everything about you. Um, let me go ahead and see who is this that's wanting to reconnect. Who is wanting to reconnect after a long period? The moon. Okay, so some of you guys, it's a Pisces. Okay, um, not going to be for um, everybody. Or this is somebody that has been hiding. You do see there's somebody here singing. They're opening the, um, their mouth. So it's like they want to speak something or reveal something. Okay. So let's just go ahead and um, see if it'll tell me anything more about this person coming through. What does this person want to reveal in the present? Number 17 could be significant as well. Elation, pure joy at the thought of you. So there is someone that possibly has been hiding from you, realizing that they love everything about you. There could be a family situation involved here that caused you guys to be in a break because of that legal situation that came through. But this person is wanting to have this, this joy with you. They they really excited at the thought um, of you. OK, and you see there is a couple here and there is, you know, this man looking at this woman here. Really, really excited. All right. So let me get what is affecting the present? Talking. What's affecting the person, the present is somebody is talking. Okay. They could be talking to a family member. Um, I'm sorry if that keeps going out of focus. I can't tell if it is or not. Um, I'm using a different camera for re recording. Um, so anyway, it says interested in conversing more. This is so annoying. Hold on. I'm going to just try to see if I can turn the light down this way. It's probably going to reflect though, just to let you guys know. Okay. I'm hoping that will be better. 
Okay, I'll just try to remember to look at this. All right, so we have talking, interested in conversing more, awaited message arrive, text call, email hovering. So this person, what's affecting this is this person is, is interested in talking more and having more of a conversation um, about something that they've been hiding. They, they want to reconnect because they love everything about you. So let's just get another card here. What does this person want to talk about? in the present misinformation okay so they want to talk about the misinformation uh, some type of wrong information uh, given to them so this person could have like had the wrong impression of you um or you about them but it's like it's like they want to clear something up that's what i'm getting somebody wants to clear something up okay so that's what's influencing the present and somebody wants to clear something up and you guys been on some type of uh, break uh, due to possibly that misinformation. So the possible thing that may take place in the future, I don't know how to approach you. Bothered, never satisfied. And then we have six of cups. All right, so somebody could be either bothered by not not knowing how to approach you, okay, on how to return, because it looks like somebody definitely wants to return, but it looks like, even though they're bothered, it looks like they still may attempt to do it, okay? Uh, they want to return, they don't know how to, they're bothered by maybe the different ways to return. Um, let's just go ahead and see, what is it, why is this person bothered? Why is this person bothered possibly in the in the future? Or maybe you're bothered. You may be bothered by this person because you, you don't like what maybe they're offering you. All right. Why is this person bothered? Goals. Okay, they're bothered because they have some type of goals and they're they're really focused on something. Okay. They're bothered by the focus. <laughs> Uh, what I'm getting here is they bother by it seems like they're focused on you and whatever outcome it is it's like they're never satisfied with what the outcome is I don't know it's, it's a restrained energy let me just go ahead what is what are they focused on they bother by and they're not they're not satisfied with some type of goal all right let me see Tell me more about what they're bothered by in regards to this goal. Three of Pentacles. Oh, okay. For some of you guys, they could be bothered by the fact that they didn't put any effort. They didn't work together with you. Or they could be bothered that, or they could be not um, afraid to approach you. Some of them could have been involved with a, a, a co-worker, somebody they worked with. This, that resulted with you guys being on a break and it could be bothered that now you're focused on something else. Like you may be just off in your own world, you know, focus, focusing on yourself. And now this person doesn't know how to approach you because in the past, maybe when they were trying to test you out, um, that kind of put you off and put you guys in a break. And so now they're bothered by the focus of this team member, like a team or co-worker or working together or that you're going to want to work together. That's kind of what I'm getting. And that's why this person doesn't know how to approach you. What did they do in the past that is affecting why they are scared to do something um, in the future for this person coming through? Um, just as a reminder, I am going to do the extended and then the extended, I am going to see, um, have they recently thought about you and what were their uh, inner thoughts or what their thoughts were and have they realized their emotions and if so what do they plan on doing and a possible um, timing about that okay um, also please hit the like button if you haven't done it already please do so uh, comment <clears throat> subscribe to the channel also again if you're interested in booking a personal reading 
uh, purchasing any of my oracles or the items you see here or getting other content on my other social media accounts, please look below the video and you're going to find all of that information, okay, including the other decks I use here in this reading. All right. What did they do in the past that got them afraid to approach you in the future? They caused you heartbreak. Okay. Deeply hurt. Separation. They may have broke up with you guys. Um, and they could have left you feeling lost. That's the reason why this person is afraid, afraid to approach you is because they did cause you some type of heartbreak or they broke up the connection. And they're afraid now that you're focused on other things, other people, uh, yourself, you know, whatever the situation is. But this is what is causing um, this person to be um, in this energy of like, I don't know how to approach you, but I, I am bothered also by my focus because I was like, I do want to, you know, do something. I do want to return. But are you going to still be, you know, in the energy of the past is kind of what I'm getting. OK, so that's where I'm going to leave it for you guys. So thank you so much for your love and support on my channel. I truly appreciate it. Um, so you guys have a wonderful day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. Until next time, next video, peace, love and light.